Hello, this is Stefan from the Mod3D Tech team again. In this quick tutorial we will look at how to enable the Morvis VR Bridge software for your NX software. This tutorial assumes that you have successfully downloaded and installed the Morvis software to your computer. After installation you will see the Morvis server control shortcut on your desktop. Double click it to launch the software. Notice the new icon in your tray bar right next to your system time. Right click it and select properties. Here you can switch the connection type to shared memory which will result in a very fast graphic data transmission for your HMD. Shared memory works exclusively on the local machine. Click OK. Next, right click the tray icon again and select Morbis Application Enabler. It requires administrator level privileges. Here you can add your NX installation. To do so, you simply want to click Add Application, navigate to your installation directory of the Siemens software, which I will quickly do. Well, let me quickly add NX12. Um, inside this NX installation directory, you want to s open the subfolder NX bin. And in there, you are looking for the ugraph.exe. Click Open. And next, you want to set the Enable check mark. This will enable or disable all functions of the Morvis software. Click Save and Close. Next, you want to launch the Morbis client. For its first configuration, it requires administrator level privileges. Hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and right click the desktop shortcut to reveal the Run as Administrator function. Once the client has started, right click into the client and select General Settings. Set the output type matching to your HMD. I will use the HTC Vive. Next, you can configure the pixel density. A higher value will result in better visual quality, but decrease the frame rate. It's a trial and error and the factors are complexity of your model and performance of your graphic board. Click OK. Next, right click again, select Exit. And now run the client without administrator privileges. Right click and select Restore to set the client to run in a windowed mode. And now it's time to run our NX software. Once NX has started, simply load any 3D model you like. Once the loading process has finished, make sure that your NX software is running in perspective view mode. To do so, you will need to look at the menu bar and go to the view option. And then it is this symbol enabling for perspective projection mode. Once the loading process has finished, you are free, free to enjoy the VR representation of your model. You can fly around, you can rotate the model, you can position the model, and as a new feature, we have introduced a VR menu on your controller. To open it, simply press the button above the HTC Vive's trackpad. On this menu, you can reset position, scale and speed settings. And of course, you can scale. For instance, I can make this model a lot smaller. 
And now, even though it seems that the model would be moving, it's actually scaling. I can set the movement speed. So I'm now reducing to like 0.5 movement speed. I can activate a laser pointer with which I can point at different objects and I can switch between a flying so and a walking mode. In the fly mode I am allowed to go in a vertical direction like up and down while walking locks me to a ground plane. As a brand new feature we have implemented a measurement function so you can measure inside of VR. This line now has a total length of 2.53 meters. And as the newest feature, we have implemented a clipping plane, which allows you to cut through your models. Let me move in a little bit closer, so I can demonstrate it better. With the clipping plane, I can cut open any geometry on my models. Now I can look inside this box and see all of the contents inside. When I want to display all of my model again, I simply disable the clipping function. Thank you for, for watching this quick tutorial on the NX software.